first step is to download the software. So search for MIC text, go to the downloads page, download it. Then search for Text Studio and download this. Also a useful tool is JabRef. So go and download that one too. So while those are downloading, I'll download the IEEE conference template. So I'll just install Jabref first because that's downloaded. And I'll search for an example bibliography that we can open up with Jabref. This is a sort of format that's in the bib file. It's just an ordinary text file, but Jabref understands that and allows it to be edited in a sensible way. So I'll just install MicTex, which will take a while. So well, that's installing. I'll find an example bib file so I don't have to write it. That one's a bit short. Get a longer one. So this is what it looks like when it's opened up in Jabref. You can see the names and the Authors, title of the paper, the year it was written. You can click on each one of them individually and see more details. So now we'll install Text Studio. It's in the default location, it's fine. Okay, now I'll unzip the IEEE template and put the bibliography in there. Also, want to get a picture put into the document, so I'll download a picture of the Baxter robot. I'll open up the bare conference.txt file in Text Studio. I'm going to uncomment a few lines, for example, this one. Let's change the title so that you can do spell check. Right click. So let's uncomment that figure that's there as the example and use the file name for the Baxter JPEG file. So let's uncomment this table. It's just an example table that's already in the template file. I don't want to use that bibliography, I want to use a bibliography from file, so I know what the file name is, it's the same as that. I also use the style, IEEE Trans. So let's build it. I know this is a problem, that because the bibliography file was already built once before. So I've deleted that. So here's an example of putting formulas in line. Use the dollar signs either side of the equation. It's also possible to have the equation uh, environment, I guess. And then this will automatically number the equations as well. See, there's a, a number there. And if we put another one, you'll notice that now it's got that's one and two for indexes. Uh, here's an example of putting a label in so that we can refer to it in text. I'll just 
doesn't matter what you call it, but it's called equation one and equation two. Um, then you use the slash ref. And Text Studio will look through the document and find possible bookmarks that you can refer to. You can also refer to the, the labeled figure and table, as I've done here. So to show an example of using uh, the bib file, so we can look at citations, include citations, for example, typing slash cite, left curly bracket will give you the list of references there, and then you can see that in text you get the numbering, uh, and also in the reference list at the end you get a numbered and correctly formatted, and we can put any number of these any number of times and it will keep track of the numbering correctly. So notice how now we have four references and they're in text but also that this file that's been built exists in Explorer as a PDF it can be opened in Acrobat Reader 